There we go. Good evening, commanders, and welcome to a little bonus live stream this week. Is the camera's a little, little dark, maybe. Turn that up, maybe like so. That looks a little better, I think. Okay. Good evening, everybody. I am. Um, I decided to do a little bonus live stream here, um, because as I've been threatening you with for now a while, I'm heading out to Colonia, and. I'm gonna head out today. I'm just gonna get myself some uh, something to drink. I'm gonna try not to do it right over the microphone, so it's too loud for you guys. Uh, we go. A cup of water. Um, and I thought I would just head out. So this is gonna be a very um, compared to the Tuesday live streams. It's probably gonna be a little bit more like l less um, prepared than normally. Not that I prepare my live streams, but I. Um, but I usually uh, have a vague idea of what I'm doing. Right now, I'll just be heading out towards um, into the black, getting out of the bubble. And uh, we're probably not going to make it to Cologne tonight because I have a small stuff. Yeah, exactly. Has, has. The vodka is out. Cheers. Uh, um, okay, I think we're just gonna gonna head out. I have, I think. DKY, I'm just gonna keep an eye on on Discord here because he might. Oh, what happened? Oh, there he is. Oh, there you are. Hello, DK. Um, I have DK with me here today. I should be in the private group. Uh, yes, I am. Hi there. I know. I'm gonna launch now. I hope we're in the same instance. DK will just be following and tagging along here for uh, for the first leg of um, of the trip. And um, I already plotted my first route. I have a... We can quickly go over the ship here as, uh, as we begin to leave. Uh, where are you at at the moment? Because I can't see any player ships on the radar. Uh, Boris Enterprise. Okay, then I think we are in the same location but not in the, not in the same instance. Okay, no, let me try to send you a. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, I can't send you a. Can't send you an invite. Send you another another instance. Try to re rejoin and see if we can get you in. Okay. There we go. So while we're waiting for uh, for DK just to come in, um, if you've been following the channel for a while. Um, you know this Python, it's not a dedicated, you shouldn't see this as an exploration ship, it's not an exploration Python. This is basically the elite version of an RV. Um, it just has things that I need to live out in Colonia, and the stuff that I can't bring with me on the ship, I'll report and put into module, tra module storage and I'll module transfer it out to, uh, to Colonia when I'm out there. So again, don't look at this as, a, as an exploration ship. It is not meant to be an exploration ship. This is just a ship that will bring me to Colonia. Um, people asking about the jump range. No, oh, it's really low for me here. There we go. Jump range is, as you can see here, currently with a full tank of fuel, um, just uh, just shy of uh, forty-five light years. So. We do have the necessities like a, a SRV, so we can go and uh, and play with that. I should say, I, as I said, I plotted my first uh, first um, leg here, which is going to be two hundred and fifteen jumps. JSB, thanks a lot for the two pound donation, stage. I hope your journey is successful and all goes well. Thank you guys. I'm really happy to have there we go delayed. Super chats always delayed. Um, I'm really glad that you guys are going to be here and uh, and see me off here. Um. We're just going to quickly have a look at the uh, galaxy map here before we uh, before we leave. Um, you might notice our first destination out here, while Colonia is over here, and that's because there's a place over here, out in the middle of nowhere, that I've been wanting to visit for quite a while, um, in this system here. So I decided just to uh, to head out in that direction, and uh, um, and then yeah, it's a small detour, but it will get me off the beaten track. Hopefully, we can get some unexplored systems, and. In, in the spirit of, of driving around or flying around in what's, what's basically an, an RV, um, 
I'm not gonna rush it. I'm not gonna take the uh, the neutron route. I'm gonna take it the uh, the scenic route, and I'm gonna take some stops along the way to explore interesting looking planets, stuff like that. Especially landable planets with rings are really really fun. Um, yeah, the reason for leaving the bubble. We'll get back to uh, get back to that. Um, what am I doing here? I'm closing down the galaxy map. So, could you come in same session? Yeah, I can see you in... No, I can't, still can't. Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna try to log out and log back in. See if we have more, more log lap time. Uh, MP Astro. Let's join that group again. Uh, okay. The game we're gonna try to jump into uh, to Super Crew, see if I can catch you in there instead. Uh, you are uh, at the station still, right? Yes, I am, yeah. Hmm. I have no friends online, well. Is it the MP Astro? Yeah. Private group? Yeah. Okay. That's why. The wrong one. Oh, okay. You're on the down to earth astronomy one? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. No, I'm in the, in the MP Astro one. Gotta drop out at uh, Morris Enterprise again. See if I get you this time. Um, There were a few questions I wanted to answer. Uh, oh, yeah. First of all, Yeah, Matt, I'm, I'm moving my alt to uh, to Colonia. So people are asking why I'm leaving the bubble. I should say that. Oh, there you go. I can see you now. Um, the reason why I'm leaving the bubble, and this is on my alt character, or one of them. Um, so it's not on my main, as you can probably see. The the ranks and credit balance is not <laughs> as it is on my main account. Um, no, it's because, like... Whenever I'm building a new ship or trying to do anything, I pretty much know exactly where to go and what will happen when I do it inside the bubble because I've been flying around this area for, well, several years now. I know it inside out. Not so much in Colonia. I have pretty much no idea what's going on in Colonia. And uh, that's why I decided to move my old out, out there on a more permanent basis. So right now I'm not planning for this character to come back. Um, he might eventually, but but for now at least it's the plan that he's going to stay out there for a very long time. And it's just to try and get that, uh, well, call it the new player experience again, where I kind of don't know where anything is, I don't know how anything works, uh, where to go for what, and that kind of stuff. There you are. And with the Galnet... That almost uh, actually looks exactly like my uh, camera counter. Same paint job, same thrusters and everything. Uh, target next system in route. There we go. Okay. Oh, hold on. I need to reset my route here. you <laughs> thank you Robert thank you Mario yeah I actually have um, I've been also running around on my uh, my main account doing some exploration um, and I have quite a bit of data, and I, I just saw the daily orders in uh, for uh, for Terra X that there's actually uh, a request for a cartography dump. So I'm gonna try to uh, to get that cartography data uh, delivered into the faction before I am um, um, before the next tick. So uh, we can I can't remember was was it in car talk? I can't remember. There was something in uh, in daily orders about a uh, um, about a cartography dump. So I'll probably go and do that gather quite a few systems where has the G633 gone the headset <laughs> so 
So, uh, DK, did you just want to tag along, or do you want to? Did you want to do some uh, some recording of it, or what did you have in mind? Yeah, I'll just jump along. Okay, cool. Oops. Um, my first destination is in this general direction. Do you, should I post to the uh, destination I'm going to? Our problem is how do we plot routes? So we end up in the same system. Yeah, I'm good for 70, so I should manage to uh, keep up with you. Just post it in the um, Discord, possibly. Yeah, I'll I'll just post you the uh, the system names where I'm going to. Okay. And uh, and then we'll go for the first jump. Yes. Sector. What is that? N N N N dash T space A three dash three. Hope that one comes up with something useful. Um. Okay. So the funny story about the headset. I used to have a G three G six three three from uh, from Logitech. And um, then I got this one, which is a G four three two, for review. And even though it's a, it's a, it's like the gener it's a next generation, but it's in a lower um, price bracket than the, it's it's a lower. It's like kind of the, one of the mid end headsets where the one I had before was the last generation, but the higher end headset they had. But I like this one so much that I just kept using it, and, and I still have the other one somewhere over there. You got the system, DK? Yep, got it. Um, mm -mm. Okay, I'm gonna... Uh... Okay, let's... Uh, I'm gonna start my... Um, my uh, FSD and uh, keep my throttle at zero, and when the... Uh... Oh, Robert. Here's some gas money for your long drive to Colonia. <laughs> Thank you, Robert. Um, I've charged up my, uh, my, <laughs> my FSD, and when the in-game time hits, let's say uh, 45, I'm gonna uh, gonna boost full throttle, and uh, then this, this should begin to jump immediately. Okay. So we can try to do it at the at the same time. Um, and dust to dust, ask if I'm using the headphone mic. Um, the live stream is no. So this cord has been picked up by the headphone mic. Um, oh, you can keep an eye on the. Time in, in game time here. Boost. Yeah, I heard you jump as well. Um, so Discord is using the uh, boom mic, which is why I have that down right now. Um, but the live stream is being picked up. I'm gonna do this very carefully so you don't get too much noise. It's being picked up by my uh, shotgun mic sitting down here, just out of frame. Whee! Okay, next system is, uh, oops. Ah, opening up all the wrong programs now, there we go. It's the same, like, uh, something something sector, but it's just FM dash M space A7 dash three. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's actually uh Let's try that, DK. Let's try to actually wing up. That's a good point. You might actually be able to just uh, log on to my target. I'll try to wing up with you. Do you have a key binding for targeting wingman's target? I don't. <laughs> they should have that somewhere. Problem is DK needs to target my target because I have way shorter jump range than he has. Oh god, it's all new and and they moved it around. Or did they? Take this and get yourself some supplies for the trip. Hope to see you on my way back to Shinrata. <laughs> Thank you, Reaction Craft, for the donation as well. Uh, let me see where did they put. Uh, it's probably on the target. Oh yeah, it's probably on the targeting. Um. 
Yeah, you should have select wingman. Just if you go into the uh, key by the target, there's select wingman one target, or just select wingman's target. John Smith, yeah, uh, eventually we're gonna head to Colonia. Can you, uh, does it work? Yeah, it doesn't seem to be working for some reason. It, it doesn't? No, no, don't know why. Hmm. Oh. Identified signal source. Degraded. Okay, you can. I posted the system name in um, Discord. You can target oh, it there. Got it. That's it. It's working. Okay, great. Let's jump. Jumping. I'm probably here in the beginning. Just gonna go through the systems pretty quickly. Um, but once we begin to head outside uh, of the bubble, we put a few uh, a few jumps behind us then I'll probably begin to slow down a little bit and uh, and actually scan the systems okay was going to do a big dirty super chat but remember YouTube is a big dirty company who <laughs> steals 40% of it plonk <laughs> thank you for the uh First donation and uh, yeah, YouTube does take a cut from uh, from super chats. Okay, Ooh. core system sector. It's the next one up. Yes, that's right. Ey, Canis Majoris. That's a big one. Just, just because I think it was, is that how you pronounce it? Just because, just because. <laughs> well, thanks for the donation. <laughs> how far from the bubble? Well, we, this is what the third jump we've done so far since we left the station. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we are still inhabit inhabited space. Okay, this is not an inhabit. You know what? I'm just gonna quickly change my uh, my route plotting rules here. Um, security uh, star class. There we go. And apply to route filter. Uh, where is it? Come on. There we go. Okay. I got a new system. Monotro. Um, the plan is right now just to head out of the bubble. I will eventually... Okay, you got it as well. I'm jumping. I will eventually um, make it towards Colonia. But for now I have other uh, another destination I want to go and, uh, and visit too. I'm not sure we're going to hit it tonight. Um, I think it's like... Yeah, 214 jumps <laughs> to get there. Hold on, have I said use a conip uh, for fastest route on this character? Because 200 jumps is still seems like a lot to get that far. Just check that I didn't set economical route here. Uh, we are jumping almost 40, so that should be okay.
Um, because uh, reaction craft, why I'm not using the neutron highway because I'm not in a hurry. I uh, I wanna, rather want to go the scenic route than uh, just rush out there. I have a few, like I want to go on a small like <laughs> exploration trip uh, as I head out there. I'm just gonna quickly check my um, my setting here. Yeah. Use fastest route. Use jet com boost. Nope. Okay. That's right. I should probably remember to honk. So yeah, basically, I want to uh, to explore some more systems along the way. Let's check zone here. Someone tacked him at least. Oh, there we go. But again, we haven't gotten that far yet. I mean, I guess we just... By now we... Uh, we should be around right at the edge of the bubble by now. Yeah, I mean, if we dive all the way into the star here so we can get this fuel scoop going. Look at how quickly this thing goes up. There we go. Um, I might take an excursion to the center. I'll probably go and uh, and set up a uh, base camp in um, in Colonia first, and uh, and then eventually I'll begin to uh, um, to make excursions out. Uh, the plan is to uh, to fly the Python out here, refit it for mining, and then begin mining uh, to make some credits. Use those credits to get a combat ship and a exploration ship up and running. I have some modules stored back in the bubble that I'm going to module transfer out. Um, and once all that is set up and I begin to get it engineered, get the engineers unlocked and begin to figure out how I actually get engineering materials out there, all that stuff, once that is done, um, I'll begin to, uh, to maybe do small excursions out, but that's still far away. Just take a quick look at the system here. Wait, is this... See, we're getting to systems now. Are we already that far out? That's actually not that bad. We're only just at the edge. Yet, we already have stars here that are not, not been discovered. Right, see, the cartography data for this has never been uh, been handed in, yet there's a station in system. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna jump again. Oh, this just should be good. And if we disable uh, the rotation locking here. Oh, this is a little scary. I can't see the star behind me now. You can usually tag a planet without tagging the main star in order to get first discover on the on the star. Let's just take a just honk the system and then I'll show you. Okay, so this one has been discovered. This is actually a pretty neat system. If you look at it. Um, in order to get first discover on it, you need to actually scan it. So I would have to log on to it and scan it, but I can't. 
right now, of course, because I already discovered the star. I guess. Okay, next system. Yeah, so you can just get some engineer upgrades out there uh, in Colonia that are higher than in the bubble. Good evening, Pressy. None of these planets have been mapped. Oh, <laughs> spawned right next to me. Uh, 209 jumps to go. Uh, DK, I'm gonna begin to uh, to speed up a little bit until we reach around to uh, reach for the next nine jumps. Then I think we are yeah. far enough away until I can begin. I mean, you can jump a lot far further than I can. So if I uh, manage to run a jump or two ahead, you can just basically skip a whole system. No problem. Two bodies, two stars, yeah. Have they been discovered? Yes, they have. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna go and take all the jumps today. Yeah, that's right. If I wanted to just find unexplored systems, I could just begin to fly due north or like out of the galactic plane. There should be plenty of unexplored systems. But the star density is also less up there, so there's further between the stars. And with my limited jump range, I don't want to risk having to backtrack. Um, I don't know how long I'm planning to stream until I'm too tired, <laughs> I guess. Um, if you go due north, this doesn't take, I mean, if you go, I don't know, a thousand light years uh, out of uh, the galactic plane, you're pretty far out already. So, but again, remember the when you go up or down, the star density gets a lot less. Buddies. Epsilon Secret. Now, my, I remember the first trip I did to uh, to the core. That was prior to Horizons. That means you couldn't really land on planets, um, and it also meant no engineering. And it was in a in an Asp Explorer that uh, was only able to, I think, could jump. I don't know, like 30, 30 something, thirty five, maybe something like that. Quickly check the system. That looks like one big ass star. No. 
No, actually not. Jerry says, is there still undiscovered systems in the game or have they all been discovered? I think at the moment we have discovered 0.01% of all systems in the game. 0.01% of this. It's, it's around there, I think. Um, so, yes. Is it 0 0.08? Okay, but it might be 0.08% then. Um, but we are... <laughs> No, 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 no. We are way less than 0.3%. It's like 0, 0.0 something percent. It's basically nothing that has been discovered. How are we doing on a uh, jump shift? Four more jumps. We should begin to get out. So we basically discovered nothing. The, the problem is, you see here when we jump, we see a lot of the systems like this one that has already been discovered because we have first discovered by. Um, but basically that's because that first of all we are still reasonably close to the bubble and we are kind of staying here in the middle if we moved upwards just like that oh, we're actually pre pretty close to the coal sack nebula you know dk i'm gonna take a detour i always wanted to get uh, get a closer look at, uh, at the coal sack okay here. So um, I'm turning off on a on a small site excursion here. EDSM says 0 0.01. Yeah, okay. So I wasn't the uh, so I was correct. I thought it was 0 0.01 percent. Which is not a lot. But you will often find that in the area around nebulas, basically, if you take and draw lines between the nebulas and in the middle of the galactic plane, a lot of the stuff in that area has been discovered. But if you go just slightly up, or slightly down, then um, then you should begin to see some uh, some increase in the number of undiscovered systems. Yeah, the coal sack is really a straight. We can kind of, we can kind of see it as like a small. It probably doesn't show up very, very well on street because of the, uh, of the compressed color space. But because it's so black, it doesn't really show up in the night sky. I was hoping just to get in and just get like this complete black piece of the sky that was just no stars, no nothing. Okay, uh, Dong Law says, if base building is a thing in 2020, uh, do you like the idea? I do, but it, again, it depends a lot on how they're doing it. Um, with the recent, um, I wouldn't call it announcements, but with the recent um, job offerings the Frontiers put up, I think it's going to be on planet surfaces, which of course is the, um, is the most logical place to put it, but they could have done it like in stations, like where you have a area that is kind of yours that you can build and others can then come and visit it if they wanted to um but i like the idea of doing it on planets as well problem is what kind of gameplay that would be around it i would guess it would be something like you could put up mining like you've, we've seen those like three-legged mining automated mining things right that collects materials if that was something you could do if you could build a base that would do automatic mining for you based on the materials available on the planet and you could then come back you would have to come back at, at at intervals to pick up the materials that would be a really nice quality of life upgrade um and it would it would 
help players in the late game because as a new player it will still be faster for you if you just want to deal your first ship to go down and prospect the rocks in the old-fashioned way with an SRV. But as you progress into the game you begin to build a base you can begin to have that extract materials. I hope that's it. I, I should say I, I don't know. This is just me guessing. Um, but if that could then extract materials, you then go around to your bases and pick them up as, as they extract. And they would run full, so you would have to come back. So you, you couldn't just let them sit there for a week. If they did something along those lines, that would be really cool, I think. Oh, hello. That's a big bright one. But of course, in order to build those, you would need materials. Um, and maybe it could even be some cargo you have to go and buy on stations or build on stations. If space lakes is a thing as well. Elite is not cross-play. Well, it, there's elements of the game that is cross-play, but the majority of it, of it is not. Okay, so we should be pretty close now. Oh yeah, there it is. Look at that. Just this black... Nothing. Exactly, BTS is, uh, is cross-play. That's pretty much... No, let's go to that one. Changing system slightly. Just want to... To get inside the nebula itself. Uh, Jerry, you'll get to the Guardian modules eventually. Don't have to worry about those just yet. If you're only a few weeks into the game, just get a feel for it, figure out what type of gameplay you like, then engineers and guardian modules and all that stuff is something you can begin to to look into um, later on. Okay, I want to get some distance to uh, to the star here, so uh, it doesn't block out the background light. Look at that. That looks awesome. Yeah, that's a good point. Inara and EUDB is your friend. I mean, when it comes to figuring anything out in the lead, those places. Huh. Cold Sack Nebula is not as as dark as I've hoped it would be. Maybe we're still too close to the stars when we just flew by another star. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Dr. Long want the new Ryzen 9 CPU. I mean, there's been the rumors of, uh, of AMD doing a 64 core thread ripper, 128 threads. If that's the case, if they do that, I might have to build a new computer. <laughs> Again. Sorry? If they release that, that will be my uh, bank account empty again. Uh, it's probably going to be pretty expensive. Yeah. Okay, well. Nice to pay a small visit to, uh, to that. You know what? I think I'm going to go... Um, Go north a little bit just to get into some uh, unexplored systems. You know what? Let's go south instead. I don't want to go too far. Uh... What do we have here? You know what? About a hundred and. 70 light years below us, we have the uh, the Chameleon Nebula. I'm gonna head down to uh, to that just to get a little bit out of the out of the plane, and uh, and then we'll try to begin to head uh, in in the direction of uh, of where we were heading originally. Andrew says having 64 cores is basically useless unless you actually need that for rendering. Uh, you're right. You're absolutely right. But I do render a lot. <laughs> and also in case of uh, of live streaming, it could also be nice to have the extra horsepower um, when it comes to uh, to live video encoding. No, we're not heading to Colonia. We are heading to Colonia eventually, but doing a few stops here and there on the way. Jerry, no, you can't get, you're stuck with the rings. Um, you can't really get percentages or anything, any actual numbers to show up. Yeah, live encoding and recording at the same time. How many jumps is down there? Shouldn't be that many. Three more jumps. Six. Show us the flight setup. Hold on. I can. But again, I should say this is not an expiration build. I also said in the right at the beginning of the stream, but in case people weren't there at the beginning, this is not an expiration ship. 
this is closer to call it a, like an RV, call it a camper, call it whatever you want. Most of the modules in there, I posted it in um, posted it in uh, in chat. Most of the modules in there is just stuff that I'm carrying with me because I need it uh, out in Colonia, not because I uh, I need it for exploring. So it's not an exploration build. Don't take this and copy it and think it's a good exploration ship because that's not the point of this build. Oh yeah, that's right. If you want to get some quick, uh, some quick money, go and get yourself some void opals. Astro, is, is this behind the scenes YouTube ID still the actual streaming setup? Uh, that's a good question. Because I don't know random IDs. If you post, um, if you post links, you should, they should just be held for review and I can, uh, and I can accept them in. So uh, it shouldn't be, uh, hold on. Let me just quickly try to post that, see what uh, what that video actually is. Behind the scenes. Oh, that's an old live stream. Okay, yeah, Duncan Law, I'll have to dive into that uh, a little bit more before before I can actually, because I don't know exactly uh, what that live stream was all about. Hello, Phil. Yeah, I'm also streaming, both streaming on YouTube and on Twitch. I'm streaming in uh, both places. Okay, I think we're actually here. I don't think I honked the system, those, though. Wrong ID. Uh, Dunk Lord, try to just post the. Uh post the link, and I'll see if I can get you. Uh, if I should be able to just accept it. Okay, where's the nebula at, though? Do do do. It should be in this general direction. Oh, we can I can barely see it. Does this show up on stream? Yeah, it's really dark. But it's there. I can see why they call it the Chameleon Nebula. Does this show up? Let me show you guys, actually. Uh, yeah, just dump it there. And it's my computer making Windows sounds, in case you're wondering. There we're here. Okay, as I said, this stream is going to be a little bit more like, relaxed and laid back. Okay, here we go. Boom. Okay, this is basically a screenshot of the scene we just took. And I just want to see if I can enhance it a little bit so we can get a clearer view of that nebula. Um, so if we go up to colors and go to levels, 
we should be able to get away with dropping this down a little bit to lighten the picture up without it getting too distorted and then maybe even dropping this down a little bit just to lighten the picture up a bit there already a lot better i can kind of see the idea with the uh, with the chameleon here like if we cannot oh, not that color is drawn in white uh, and let's make this brush size a little smaller so kind of like we outline it just very quickly here Like, it's kind of missing a leg, but that's kind of the head and the body, I guess. That's at least how I see it. So we have the head and we have the body and then there's a front leg and the rear leg is missing, but yeah, well. Hmm. That's fun. Jump back into the game. Okay, I'm going to begin hitting... Uh, Heading back towards the destination again. There we go. Stephen, good evening and welcome. Wendy, hello and welcome. We're still in the chameleon sector. Has this system been discovered? Yeah, we're still in discovered system land. We were also pretty close to uh, to a nebula, so that's probably why people have been exploring this area. <laughs> Look at it. We can't see it anymore, but our route was basically like we're running towards the destination, took a 90 degree turn and then 90 degree downwards. I think I've jumped ahead of you, Astro, so could you post uh, destination? I'll catch up with you. Uh, yeah, hold on. Uh, okay, it's a few questions in chat here. I'll just quickly get the get DK the destination so he can... Uh, oh, where did I put Discord? There it is. Set C dash N C twenty dash fifty. There we go. That's the destination. Again, I'm I'm not expecting that we're gonna reach this tonight. Okay, there was a few questions in chat here. Um do you know if hotspots gets depleted over time? Yes they do. Um if a lot of people mine the same hotspot, they will be depleted. Um, you can't really see those stats anywhere. You just have to go down and try. Um, but again, if you then leave the hotspot and nobody mines it for a week or something, it should restore itself. 
Good evening, Duchess Asylum, and welcome. I don't know what the reset time is. It's only one hour. DK, did you get the uh, the destination? Yep, got it, got it. Perfect. And also someone posted earlier saying, if I keep taking detours, we'll never, ma never make it to the destination. Again, the point is not to make it to the destination quick. The point is to like take the scenic route and if I come across stuff that looks interesting, then uh, then I'll take a stop and uh, enjoy the scenery. If I just want to get there quick, I would just have taken the neutron highway. Um, right now the destination is out here in the middle of nowhere, out there. Somewhere in the, I don't even know what that section is called. Exactly, CJ. It's not the destination, it's the journey. Eventually, I'll make it to Colonia, but I'm not in a rush. Um, if I make it in a week, well, that's doubtful, but then that will be fine. If I make it in a month, then then I will be there in a month. I uh, I don't have anything that I need to uh, to be there at a specific time. I'll be there when when I be there. So uh, exactly when I'm meant to be there. <laughs> No, no, no passengers. I just, I just saw some people who posted some screenshots from that system, and it looked really cool. So I decided to take a detour and go there and have a look myself. So it's just because it looked cool, and I figured, well, I'm gonna go there anyway, and uh, and take a look myself. I don't even have passenger cabins on the ship. Wait. I think we got ourselves a undiscovered system. Okay, it's mostly icy bodies in the system. But, um... The majority of them have not been discovered. Look at all these planets. Uh, should be some. Oh wow! Look at that. What is going on here? Why are there so many of them so close? Is it just a coincidence that they're so close, or are they actually just? Opening in all kinds of weird orbits. We are what? Three, four levels in now. Okay, there's some very close to the star here as well. That should be the last one. Yeah. Full system scanned. 
Let's see what we got. Oh, it's just all the moons and those two orbiting each other as well. See? Undiscovered planets. In which sector did the procedural generating... Okay, I think you know what you're talking about. Let's just... Uh, it's out in the Eagle Nebula. Uh, let me just show it to you guys real quick. The Eagle Nebula is somewhere over here, I think. If I recall correctly. Which I may not. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, there it was. I think that's the one you're talking about, right? I don't think there's any Guardian sites. Yeah, this is actually quite a fun place. When I first saw this, I was really puzzled about it. But there's some interesting things to observe that kind of gives us some hints. Um, that gives us some hints about what this is. First of all, notice here I have them colored by star type. All of these stars are F-types. This is all pretty much just F-type stars. Every single one of them. And if you can see it from the top here, they're kind of arranged in lines like so okay and to make this even further more fun if we look down those lines it points straight back towards the bubble or earth in this case so the reason why this these stars are here is because they are actually part of a real survey these stars actually exist in real life or oh, well so what what frontier has done was they've taken the the position of those stars and they put them into the game problem was those stars were only measured with one uh, light year um of accuracy so i'm pretty sure if we take one of these and uh no can we see the coordinates of the system somewhere i guess not but the point is um when they were de when they were discovered right in real life by people looking at them with a telescope they only had um in the radial direction they only had one light year um in accuracy so you have to remember that people looking at it from earth they were basically seeing this picture here right oh stop that so they were they were getting this was basically what they were seeing right and our radial or sorry, um, angular resolution is really good that means they could position the stars like left to right and up and down really really accurately but obviously making the the how far they're away is a lot more difficult because we're just looking on it when you look at this i can't tell if if this star that i'm pointing at now is at the front or the rear um and it's a lot more difficult to get an accurate measurement and therefore they were only able to measure it, only able to measure it with a one light year accuracy so when they then released the the positioning data for these stars they would then they would then be divided into these bands um that you can see here so it's not because that the procedural generator that frontier has made made a mess out of it this is actually because these are real data plugged into the game of real stars The same thing is kind of happening if you go out. Uh, is it this sector here? No. There's some of these nebulas out here. Uh, it's, not, it's not the California nebula. It's more out in this area here. See if I can find some. 
Ah, this is not big enough. Okay, can't fight it. But um, no, that is why the, the Eagle Nebula looks the way it does. If you ever get out that way. Okay. Let's continue. Oh, some people also said I should go and filter this by civilization. What the so human is white? Oh yeah. Oh, this is actually quite neat. You're actually right, Dan. That the data actually suggests there should be a ton of uh, of more cyst or more uh, stars in the galaxy. Okay, let's get going. Um, my current destination, my like, okay, final destination is um, is Colonia, but right now we're just heading out to a system kind of in the wrong direction because I saw some screenshots from it and it looked cool. I need some fuel scoop. Twenty one bodies discovered. What? That's definitely not all of them. I'll get some distance to... Uh... To the star. Scoot down. Okay, what do we got here? We got some rocky and ice. Ice, rockies. High middle content and some gas giants. Okay. Okay, all the gas giants out here. Orbiting another gas giant? Yeah, those two seem to be orbiting each other. More gas giants. And that is one of the smaller planets, it seems. And so is this one. Moons are out the bigger one. Yeah. Okay, what do we have down here? We have more gas giants. Oh, look at that. Okay, we're taking all the gas giants. Now we just need all the smaller moons of various shapes and sizes. There we go. Thank you. 
There's a lot of them here as well. I think there's two here as well. Yeah. Okay, there should be one more somewhere. Oh, right there. System scan complete. Take a look. Yeah, look at that. Much better. Never discovered planets. Cool, moving on. <laughs> Reaction crash. Time to set it. This is, of course, Astro Queen. Stop moving so much. I'm literally scanning systems and I'm in a ship with 40 light years of jump range. You should be able to catch up to me. The 195th Moses, thanks a lot for subscribing on YouTube. I'm really not moving that quickly. Yeah, there will probably be some first discovers once I get to Colonia. I hope so. Isn't Astro the dog from Jets? <laughs> it might be. I actually think you're right. Okay, this system seems to be undiscovered as well. But there's only two stars in systems, so... I'm not mapping... No, I'm not going out mapping everything. If I find something that looks cool, um, planet-wise, like landable planets, then I might go out and map them. Um, but I don't want to... I mean, if I have to map every, every system I come by, um, then this is going to take a long time. Dutch is, be, please do continue call me Dave. <laughs> if I find a planet that I decide I want to land on, then I'll map it. Um, but if not, then I'll just, uh, just move along. Two bodies again, two stars it seems. Yeah, two star system. Hey, 191 systems to uh, jumps to go. This is gonna take forever. And this was only like 10,000 light years. I'm gonna have an even longer, uh, even longer trip when I have to uh, to go from uh, towards uh, Colonia. You'll probably be seeing a lot more exploration streams. People ask if I'm not concerned if uh, if I'll be followed by gankers. They can follow me all they want. As you can see here, I'm currently in a private group. So follow me as much as they like. They are more than welcome.
Oh, this is a big system. 30 planets or bodies. That does include other stars, but... Gonna get some distance here. Let's have a look at the system map. Ah, obviously we can't see it because we haven't discovered it yet. Throttle down for his issues. So there's no earth likes or water worlds. We have some gas giants and we have some icy bodies. Okay. Let's scan it just uh, just for a good measure here. Then I guess, wow, okay, look at that. Just begin to discover moons here. Those two moons could be fun to go out and take a look at. Because they seem to be orbiting each other, so they're probably really, really close. And with a gas giant as well in the area, that could make for some... Uh, some pretty neat screenshots. Oh, we have an icy body with rings around it. That could be fun as well. And this is a gas, like many gas giants. Wait, what was that? Hey, with ammonia-based life. Nice. And this is another gas giant? Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. No, that is a gas giant. Simon, thanks a lot for the uh, for the two US donation, and uh, thanks a lot for the wishes. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, that this takes a lot longer than. Uh, but well, there's a few interesting planets in the system I want to go and uh, and have a look at. Okay, we're done here. Just keep moving around. Where are they? Oh yeah, that's right. We can use the uh, the Ori map to see how close they are. But look how faint the uh, the Barnard loop is. I don't think they are in the orbit plane. I can't find the last seven, the seven planets in the system I haven't found yet. Hold on. No. Ah, 
Uh, let's have a look at the system. No, look, we have a big white gap here, so they, I don't think they're necessarily around that. Um, okay, it's this area I want to head out to these and scan them from there. It might be behind the star. You know what? We're going to head out to this area here. More specifically, that small icy moon there. Um, then we're going to try and do it from there as well. See if we're more lucky out there. So the discovery scanner, uh, ask the one switch. The discovery scanner pretty much only tells you how many objects are in the system if you honk the system. Um, when you actually FSS scan them, which is now the same thing, but when you actually start to do that, you get the same as you would get from a detailed surface scan, like the size, the, the mass, and the material uh, composition of the planet, that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, this this is gonna be a beautiful screenshot. Okay, I'm just gonna try to throttle down here and see if we have more luck. Just gonna see if there's anything in this area i might have missed that's the star Where on earth are they? Okay. Can't fight them. They are ice plants anyway. Wait, is there a leftover? Did I miss a gas? Oh, you're right. I missed a gas giant. Oh, God damn it. You're right. I thought I had all the gas giants. Thank you, check zone. Yeah, there we go. There's your problem. Oh, oh there's two here. You know what? I should actually move my camera to the other side so you guys can uh, can see that uh, that interface there. Okay, now we got the whole system. Yeah, look at that. Okay, I still want to go through that moon. Oh, this should make for a pretty nice flyby. If I lock that in there. I love this.
know what? This spot right here is actually pretty good. Zoom that out. I really like that big planet there. You know what? If you're a good tourist, I'm gonna take some screenshots. There we go. Okay, now that we are out here anyway, let's just surface scan it. Because why not? Okay, two probes. Oh, I need to be quick here. Uh, we find sound some geo sites, but that's about it. What kind of geo sites is that then? Carbon dioxide geysers. Yeah, deep coal is still a good way to make money. Okay, now I don't want to go down there right now, so uh, I think I'll just move on to uh, to the next system. Yeah, don't grow. When I'm taking uh, when I'm taking the screenshots, the, they will be without the face cam because obviously I'm just taking them straight from uh, um, from in game, so you can see it here. It's the screenshot, right? And I will probably go in and I will clean up stuff like these lines that are like around from the ship moving. Kind of get rid of those to give it a little bit, a uh, little bit of a cleaner look. Silent, you're very welcome. I'm glad that you uh, you enjoyed the videos. I do. Uh, looks like we have another system with some undiscovered thingies, which is all just ice bodies. So we're just gonna move on. I don't want to look at more ice cubes right now. Razorlight says, I know you have a wrist. I know you have a rift not long ago. I got my Oculus Quest. Love the streaming to the PC. Ah, don't know. Yeah, yeah. B roll. Yeah, that's that's the problem. I can't remove the face cam for if I wanted it for B roll. But if I'm if I'm gonna record B roll, I'm, first of all, I don't want to do it doing a live stream. Because the quality that is being posted to uh, to YouTube during live stream is by no means the same as if I uh, if I'm recording um, for actual B roll. So I will when I need to do B roll, I'll probably run around off camera and find some some plans to look at. Um, Eagle says, how can I find the station? I forgot to complete my reward for a mission. Hold on, I'll show you real quick here. So you can do the pitch stop. Um, Corvus Corax. Uh, right now I'm just heading out to a system that looks cool. <laughs> that's really no other reason than that's also cool screenshot from the system and I want to have a look myself. Um, regarding the station thing, if you go into um to here in the galaxy map make sure you have show mission markers available if you still have the mission active it will show up on a system um 
Now, I obviously don't have any missions right now. But then that simple with like a planet will show up and then it's that system where your station is. Once you're in, 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 blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Once you're in system, you can open up the system map and you will get that icon on the station where you need to go. Three bodies. Looks like stars, most of it. Yep. Okay, I'm strong. I've jumped out for a while. Um, I'll continue on my merry way a bit later on. And uh, we'll maybe see you there. I'll talk to you in Discord. Yeah, thanks for dropping by, DK. Thank you. Yeah, bye. I'll jump out of the Discord as well. There we go. And I can then put the boom mic up. Don't need that anymore. Okay, what do we got here? Eight bodies in system. Quick look. We have some rocky ice worlds and we have an ice body. Hundred and eighty five systems to go. Yeah, you're right, Dunglo. <laughs> the best camera is the one you carry. <laughs> it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be difficult to make a uh, a more clean looking uh, one without chats or anything on it for for B-roll. But I'm pretty sure there will be plenty of uh, of pretty sights to look at. Thirty-two. Wow. Okay. Oh, and this system seems to have already been discovered, though. Um, right now I'm off to some system out there. And then later on I'll head towards Colonia. And uh, I'll be moving my alt there on a more permanent basis. Did I honk this system? By some stars? Maybe I did. I didn't. Again, all ice buddies. What was the state of that overlay tool I was working on at some point? I can't remember where that thing ended. Mm, where did I put that? And is it even in a working condition right now? I can't remember where I put this script. Oh well. Is it in here maybe? Hmm. 26? No, can't remember where I put it. Once again, we got rocky ice and a few gas giants.
Raven asked if Elite Dangerous fixed the uh, the hack issue. Um, last thing we heard was Frontier saying they're working on it. And I again, I don't know exactly what's going on behind the scene. Obviously, I don't have any insight knowledge of what's going on in Frontier, but I hope something is going on. I don't know, but I hope. I think this system has already been discovered, if I'm not mistaken. It has, but not all of it. And we have a rocky world. No, we want to get stuff. Yeah, we'll get stuff in this area. We'll get the water worlds and the earth likes. Yeah, working on it, CM. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> yeah, those rocks floating above the the ground. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point. I could fill out this, the the smaller stars to to avoid that many ice rocks. But doing that will also increase the number of jumps I have to do. So I'll keep going. get here more ice buddies should we try to change the filtering who do we have here ah that's reaction craft trying to intercept me here <laughs> he's doing a pretty good job We actually make some pretty pretty good distance today. We're not that far. But we covered some decent ground already. Repairing if I see could you rate a second for me? Oh yeah, hold on. I wanted to We'll do one more jump, then I'll go and uh, and replot my route um with fewer stars selected. Be awesome. Shadow Slips is just thinking the year 3000 people will be doing this for real. More ice bodies and some asteroid clusters as well. Uh, let's just oops, adjust that and go in here, go into star class. Trying to plot her out. Ah, 
wasn't that bad in terms of uh, of the number of stars. So this should be a G type star, I guess. From the color. Oh, oh, here we go. That's a lot of different planets. You know what? We're gonna scan this system. We're just gonna uh, we have refueled. Gonna go and uh, get some distance here. That should also give uh, reaction craft a uh, a chance to uh, to catch up. So we're gonna take a small pit stop here, and uh, and scan the system and see if we can't come up with some uh, with some more pretty pretty shots. Okay, let's see. Gas giant, I guess. Yep. These are smaller planets. Oh. It's a rocky thingy. Oh, look at that. Look at that color. C1b. How far is that away? Might want to go and have a look at that. But I already showed you how you can find your uncompleted missions. If you have, to, if the mission is still active, it should be in your transaction tabs. If it's not in your transaction tab, then the mission is done. Oh, there's still more in here. Oh yeah, here we go. What do we have here? Gas giant. Yeah. Big gas giant. Okay, and then we have some more stuff around this. And my guess is smaller planets and asteroid fields. So was that it? Yeah. And we have something in this area here, which is a gas giant as well. This is probably one of the smaller moons. Hello, Marcus. Everything's going well. We're just doing some quick exploration here on our way out to or my way out to to Colonia. And currently, I'm heading in the wrong direction on a small detour. Oops, that was drifting off. something here there's two of them here at least what's the difference between a gas giant and an asteroid an asteroid is a piece of metal small piece of metal flying around when i say small i mean anything up to the size of a large city basically Anything that's too small to be a planet, basically. Uh, unless it's a comet. If it's a comet, then 
it's made of ice. But an asteroid is made of, uh, of mainly iron, um, and a gas giant is a big ball of gas that's not a star. Ask the dinosaur. Oh, lots of things here. How many things do we have left? We only discovered 18. Again, we have an ice body with, uh, with rings around it. What? Is this a gas giant as well? It is. What do we have here? Something small. Yeah. Well, there's more down here. There's two of them. Small ice buddies. Oh yeah, asteroid clusters, a lot of them. There we go, no, stop. There we go, should be the last of the high metal content. Oh, there's more in here. Oh, here it is. Probably the last gas giant with a ton of moons as well. With ammonia based life. And then there's just the moons left. Three more moons and we're done. Two left, one left, which is right here. System scan completed. <laughs> will wearing my merch make your ship jump faster? Yes, it definitely will. <laughs> uh, what's the icy one? Oh, I hope this one was landable, but it's not. Okay. Nice little system. Well, they are far away. We're not going to go out there. Okay, moving on. I'm really hoping for some uh, some ringed landable planet. Um, Goom bomb, yes. Well, right now we're not heading directly to Colonia. I'm taking a detour, but um, I am on my way, and I've, I probably won't be doing the full trip tonight. But uh, we're just getting a few uh, few light years behind us and getting some distance to the bubble. Oh, hold on, look at that. We got ourselves a water world in this system. I'm just going to get some distance to the stars. I'm not sitting inside the corona.
no, the distance to the body doesn't have anything to do with the uh, or the distance to the main star does not have anything to do. Um, the distance from the system itself to the where you're selling it does up to a point. I think uh, I think it's up to sixty light light years. If you're closer to the selling location than sixty light years, no, let's try it again. If the system you're selling is less than sixty light years away from where you're selling it then you get a reduced price because it's close but anything over 60 i think it's 60 will um will give you full price okay i don't think the system is that big it's only 12 objects so i think we're just going to do a full scan of this one as well and especially because there's a water world that we might want to go and uh, and map that thing out um And it seems to be a pretty straightforward system with no gas giants with a ton of moons around it. So this should be fairly easy. Fairly easy. What do we have here? Is that the water world? Yes, it is. Ooh. And it has rings around it. That water doesn't look good. That looks kind of muddy. But okay. And it's planet 10. So we'll probably have to fly a bit to get up there. We'll go out and map that one. I just wanted to explore the rest. What do we have? 12 planets. What do we have here? Is that that one? The icy body. High middle content. High middle content. Is there anything here further out? Oh, there they are. They were closer in. So we have, yeah, we have planet one, four, and five. So we need uh, two and three. Two and three is here. System scan complete. Okay. That's a pretty straightforward system. Are you in system reaction crap? <laughs> I got your ship on my radar now. That's funny because I can't see you in the system. I invited you to a wing, by the way, if you want to join. <laughs> Eldwin first post of one Twitch says, well, well, well. If it's not the most favorite, favorite pirate of them all, I think you have been mistaken from someone else. I think the time I've spent doing any kind of PvP is less than five hours in this game. So, probably the worst pirate you could possibly find. Yeah, it's, it's an ammonia water world. It, or maybe it's ammonia world. I thought it was water world. It looked like a water world. But this should be pretty. Is it valuable? Hmm, it's not the most valuable. 
It did show up as a water world, it didn't show up as an ammonia world. No, okay, it is just an ammonia world. I must just have mispositioned the uh, the scanner slightly. Okay, eight probes for this one. It's a big one. So, um, eight, let me think. That means we're going to put one there, there, uh, put one there. Put one there. I think we can then put one there. There. You know what? I think I'm going to shoot round there. That should do it. Come on, hit 80. Oh, ah, so one of them, uh, okay, I'm not gonna get the bonus then. I would have to get one. Around there, I think. You no, know it's just for good measure. It's just fire one into the ring as well. Whoa, we have hot spots and a lot of them. And look at that overlapping hot spots there, 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 there. Wow. And we, uh, hold on. We didn't even finish the mapping of it yet. No, I think I'll have to, uh, I'll have to fly around it to get a proper map. You can see what kind of hotspots. Low temperature diamonds. Okay, it's all low temperature. Like, if we wanted low temperature diamonds, we could probably find some overlapping hotspots here. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's try from this. We are so close to uh, to finishing this, by the way. There we go. Yeah. My scanner's not engineered, that's also one of the issues. Uh oh, we have a lawless asp coming in here. I'll turn on my... Uh, my wing beacon, then I'll drop down. Ah, Aldrin says, says, uh, as blood diamonds. Ah, yeah, I see. Unfortunately, that's not really working anymore. I trust reaction craft. I, uh, I'm pretty sure I, uh, that I'm safe. Otherwise, I can't remember if this ship has weapons. Mm. 
not really, no. But looking at his ship, I think we are okay. <laughs> Since there is no weapons. And I think my shield is bigger than yours, reaction craft, so <laughs> don't try anything funny with ramming. <laughs> How do you get navy, navy missions to spawn? Um, you go to a system owned by the faction you want the um, want the uh, mission for. Find the station with as many factions for that. Uh, as many, yeah, many factions belonging to that superpower, and uh, then you should be good. So reaction craft, I guess you're heading back towards the the bubble. Yep. There we go. A meeting in the black. Oh, of course, I can't see what he's writing in chat, if he's writing anything. Oh, that was the message. Okay. Reaction Craft has been a short trip to the Eagle Nebula. And he's now on his way back to uh, Rata Deshra. So, yeah, you're basically headed the opposite direction of where I came from. But it must also be the Eagle Nebula, we just looked at that earlier. That's over here, somewhere. There it is, Eagle Nebula. So you've been flying from there to... Okay, so it's not that big of a detour for you to go out and intercept me here. It's not that bad. And then you're almost home. How far are we actually from the bubble? <laughs> only like 2,000 light years out. We barely moved. <laughs> okay, you know what? I will. Uh, I'll move on to the next system. Uh, thanks for dropping by, and uh, good luck on uh, on your trip back to the bubble. Nothing here I want to look at. Yeah, the Asp Explorer is a good ship. That was my first exploration ship as well. Went to uh, to the core and back in that as well before engineering. Oh, that's definitely a G-type star. Fifteen bodies discovered. Oh, hold on. What do we have here? That is definitely a 
water world. Okay, just look for that as well. Here we have the orbital plane. Oh, that was. Oh, we forgot that yellow planet we saw before. Oh well, shame. I don't want to fly back for it. It just had a funny color. High middle content. High middle content. But oh, this is a rocky one. Okay. Um, people asking where I'm at now. I'm about two thousand light years outside the bubble. I really haven't made a whole lot of progress so far. Yeah, silver. Everything's going uh, going pretty well so far. Had some uh, some pretty planets to look at. Another icy world with rings around it. They really like those. Should be a water world around here somewhere. And as I know, I could just chew in the filter to just look for the water world, but I've got to do a full system scan now that I'm at it. Oh, is it this one? Yes, it is. Well, that's pretty pretty plain, but it's a water world. I'll take it. There's one gas giant in system somewhere. Something here. I think it's the gas giant. Yes, it is. Uh, hold on, I'll, I'll answer some of the questions in, uh, in chat in a bit. Just want to finish the uh, mapping, not mapping, the scanning of this system here. Okay, system scan complete. Let's have a quick look at the map here. I don't think any of these are terraformable. Nope. This one is terraformable. Oh, when it's together with the water world. Body is a candidate for terraforming. You know what? Let's head out to, uh, to this area and map those two planets. Um, R.A.W. Eternal says we have to load out for the build. I can post your link, but I must say that this is not an exploration build. It's not meant to be a good exploration ship. There's a lot of whoops. That's not the link I want. It's not built to uh, to serve that kind of purpose. It is basically just carrying some of the stuff because I'm moving to Colonia. But there's the build if you're interested. Uh, we have Barry has says due to the game found your channel and it uh, made the game so much better with the way you explain things keep up the good work thank you very much and I'm glad I could be of help
Here we go. Let's get in range of this one first. Unfortunately, they, are, they seem to be quite far away, these two planets. So there's no pretty shot with the uh, with the high metal content world, with the water world in the background. I think they're too far, too far apart. Okay, let's slow down here. Let's begin to map this. Okay, seven probes. Let's just try a standard layout here and let's see how that goes. It's a good sign. We got 50% with three probes. We got 77%. We just need the last one. No! <laughs> Damn it. I'm going to shoot one. There. Oh, we do have an extra. I only put six probes on it. Hopefully. That should push us above the 90%. That's that's more than 3%, I think. That did nothing? How did that do nothing? <laughs> Thanks for the script on YouTube. Was it because it didn't hit inside the unexplored area? This one looks a little better, maybe. No. Oh, yeah, that hit. How are we not getting any bonuses for covering that area up? Oh, not that one. That one. Yeah, I think I did keybind the back of... At least I wanted to. So that gave us... There we go. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I know I can see the back, but the problem was I thought hitting those small triangles would give us something, but apparently it didn't. Okay, we got the map now, so that's good. Uh, what am I doing here? Oh, right, we're going to fly to the water world as well. Which should be just around the corner. Yeah, out there. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't have I didn't have the bottom to switch. I thought I set it up at least. Uh, galaxy map. Oh God, where have they put that? Mouse control, flight rotation, alternate flight control, flight throttle, flight landing, overrides, flight miscellaneous. Is there one for detailed? Detailed surface scanner. Yes, thank you. Exit mode. Let's change that over to that one. Uh, 
Toggle font back view. Okay, apparently I didn't bind that. So let's do that. And apply that. Reaction craft, why are you flying without shields? What happened to your shield? Were you without shield before? Are you flying? You're not flying shieldless, are you? Okay, seven probes again. Pretty good coverage on the front side, I would say. Oh, that's a good hit as well. But this is good enough. And we got the efficiency bonus. Nice. Um, I'm not that far out yet. We are still just in the uh, in the very early stages. I mean, I've only been flying for about two hours now. Let's say yeah, two hours ish. Um, and as you can see, I mean, we moved, but not that far. And we're heading out here right now, and then we'll turn over for Colonia. As I said, I'm not gonna reach that destination today. Um. Taking this nice and uh, nice and easy, no need to rush it. Uh, taking it nice and steady, I'm taking the scenic route and uh, enjoying the trip. Um, I'm not planning to hit the neutron highway. I uh, I think I'll just take the uh, nice and slow approach all the way out to uh, to Colonia. Who? Forty six. There's a lot of stuff in this system. Let's have a look at what we got. Okay. Even though there's a ton of stuff, it's mostly rocks. There's some high metal. Or are there? Yeah, there's a, maybe a few, one or two high metal content worlds, asteroid clusters, and some uh, some gas giants. So I think I'm gonna pass on uh, on this system. Exactly. Getting up some expiration data that we can sell for a faction increase. Yeah, I was actually looking for my FSS overlay, um, but I couldn't remember where I stored it. I'm sure I have it somewhere. But right now, I actually don't know where. 
I put it. Hmm, I'll have to look for that. Can't remember where it is. Oh, there's nothing here. Moving on then. Uh, yeah, where did I put that thing though? Annoys me a little bit that I can't find it now. I would assume I put it somewhere on the server. It's not the scripts folder where I put all my scripts. So I assume it's probably somewhere still on. Hmm. Yeah, where did I put that? Oh, 29, that's also a lot. My jump range is. What? 40, 45 right now because I'm a little a lot lower on fuel, but I have uh, I've used a little fuel, otherwise it's it's around that area. Okay, it's pretty much the same deal in this system here. Um, mainly rocky, there's a few high metal content, maybe one, um, but nothing too exciting, so moving on. You know what? I should be able to. Any of those planets could be Raxler. If I have to scan every single planet and every single system I come by, I'm never gonna make it to Colonia. Okay, sorry, I can't remember where I put uh, where I put that script. Uh, could it be? Nope. Could it be? Nope. Nope. Not in here either. Uh, okay, one more. Windows apps. Oh, no. Sorry, can't remember where I put the scripts. Too far from the bubble for it to be Raxler. Why do you say that? Jumping to Colonia in a, py a python? No, it's not that bad.
also quite a few th things. Oh, hold on. Got an ammonia world. Ah. Do you want to stop for an ammonia world? Yeah, there are ships for sale in Colonia. Because research showed that it is, is roughly a thousand to fifteen hundred. What is that based on? How do people come up with that? here uh, water world okay we'll take a stop here again Yeah, this is gonna take a while. I'm again, as I said at the beginning of the stream, I'm not in a hurry. I'll make it eventually. Got the water world. Ah, that's pretty. We'll go out and take a look at that in a bit. I'll just quickly do the full system scan here. go and we had a lot of high metal contents so let's just check if that one is terraformable that one is terraformable Where was the water world? That's the water world? Well, that's rocky. Ah, this one. So we need to go to planet two, three, and four. Okay, let's get going.
Okay, interesting question here from Independent Writer says, a uh, bit off topic, but regarding the 2020 league, are you guys happy with the space legs or do you prefer atmospheric landing? Personally, I prefer, I actually don't know what I prefer. Um, uh, I, okay, so if they added atmospheric landing, they would have to do something else down there on the planets. I mean, problem is that would be a, a ton of work that maybe wouldn't add a whole lot to the game, I think. I'm actually pretty happy with being space lakes if uh, if the leaks turn out to be true um because they would have to begin to first of all model the whole entering to an atmosphere into into a, uh, no, no, entering into an atmosphere and also the whole uh, like plant life animal life that kind of things we would probably begin to expect that unless we're just going to get atmospheric landing on barren worlds so it, we can only land on planets yes they have an atmosphere but they're barren like Mars, basically. So planets like what Mars is today. And f f I, it wouldn't add a whole lot to the planet if, if that was the case. Um, so I'm pretty happy with it being space legs. Okay, six probes. Six probes is easy. There's one there. There. Whoops. There. And you get one. You get one, and you get one. But of course, it also depends a lot on what they're going to do with um, with space lakes. <laughs> Reaction crap. <laughs> Whee! Done. No, I think, um, I think space legs will be a lot more. There has been, um, the leaks also mentioned base building, so I'm pretty sure we will be able to get out of um, um, of our SRVs and walk around on the planets. And Frontier has recently put up a um, a job offer where they're looking for someone to write an AI that can control vehicles driving ar around on a planet. And they specifically set on a on a game world with over four billion star systems, so elite dangerous. Um, so they're looking for someone to 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 write an AI that can drive uh, SRVs, basically. So have NPCs driving around in SRVs. I think we're gonna begin to see a lot more life on the planet. I think we'll begin to see SRVs or at least some vehicles driving around on the surface bases, and maybe we will also be able to hire NPCs to manage our stations when we are not uh, around. And they can then drive around and move stuff around. So that would probably be, I, my guess is mining. I mean, we've already seen these automated mining things. They're standing around on engineering bases and other places. Um, so probably something like that. Um, if it will be walk inside the ships, I hope. The stations, I hope. But planets at least is, I'm pretty sure. Um, personally, I would also really like to see EVA. Um, that would be really, really cool to be able to go out in a space suit and fly around your ship and solve tasks. Like go up to a um, to a satellite and fix it if it's broken so you can retrieve some data out of it or something like that. It would be really, really cool. Six probe for this one too. Okay, you get a probe. You get a probe. You get a probe. You get a probe. There we go. Maybe be able to fake the broken canopy. Yeah.
and it's mapped. Of course, we can't land here, but that's never the point. And then we just have the water world. <laughs> yeah, down to with Oprah. Yeah, I know we shouldn't get our hopes up, but I don't know. I mean, I'm not expecting that we both get stations, ships, planets, and EVA all in one patch. I, I think that's way too much to ask. Um, I, so I don't think we're going to get all of them. I'm pretty sure about planets, but which of the other? I mean, we may be going to get one of the other. If it's going to be ship stations or EVA, I don't know. Um, if they're doing planets, it would make most sense to do um, to do EVA. On the other hand, I also think there's a lot of people who would be really disappointed in space lakes if they can't walk around inside their ship. If all they can do is basically go out just like in an SRV, only slower. Um, because I really think there's a lot of people, who, who myself included, who would really like to be able to explore the ships. Um, of course, they would have to have some gameplay around it because... Otherwise, if they don't, people will just explore their ships, they will spend a few hours and they will have a blast. But then why would you bother going back there if there's nothing to do other than just look at things? I mean, I might go back there because I like to make videos and record stuff. Um, but for the normal normal player, why would you go back there if it's if you've already explored your ship? And so, so it would be a lot of effort to put into something that would get very little use. So if they do walking around inside the ship, they would have to add some gameplay to it um and the problem here is they they can't just take existing features and say oh if you want to repair reboot your ship you now have to run to the back to to pull the reboot the ship lever that's on the back of the ship because then people will definitely get mad that they have made it the game even more grindy and the ships are now even more difficult and why would they move that and yada 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 um so they would have to add some new features to the ship that can then only be completed by actually going out uh getting your ass out of the chair and walking to the back to the back so i can see some problems with uh, walking inside the ships if it should not just be a feature that would basically be dead on arrival um but planets i think is pretty straightforward if you if you mix planets and base building then there you go then you pretty much uh, have that one, one sorted out and we got six probes again Space Lake is, I mean, remember guys, they are taking like a year and a half to develop this. This patch is going to take a year and a half to develop. Yes, it will be a lot of work, but they also have a lot of time to do it. Okay, we are done. Target next system and go. Yeah, and you may be right, maybe it's more than a year. I don't know when they actually started working, but it's a lot of time. <laughs> let's, just, let's just put it like that. They're taking a lot of time. Um, so, uh, yeah. We can also expect a lot. I mean, I think this is going to be at the very least on the size of Horizons. Remember in Horizons we got a planetary landing um, and pretty shortly after we also got engineers into the game. That was a massive, massive change to the game. I mean, that, so I think we can expect a lot. Um, Kevin says your video helped a ton. Currently in Maya, unlocking Palin. Palin. 
good luck with that. Um, he can be a bit of a pain, but luckily you only have to do it once. <laughs> Will Elite... Oh, okay. Will Elite ever get the mandatory battle royale mode? It's already here. It's called CQC. What I hope Reaction Craft says, knowing Frontier, they will mostly spend one year with just doing nothing. Uh, and then, yeah, they make bug. What I hope they will do is they will do something very close to what they did with the Horizon. Because Horizon was pretty much. Um, you had the launch, and then you had basically just have the planets with landing, and then it was like one or two months, then we got engineers, and one or two months, and then we got a, a new massive feature. And they came very, very rapidly after the launch, and it pretty much stretched out over a whole year where they released these features. Um, I hope they're doing something similar here, where we will get something at the beginning, and then they're going to keep adding like features at a pretty rapid pace. Um, I completely forgot to look at what this system... Did I honk it or did I do... What do we have here? That's another water world. And there's only 14 bodies in the system. Let's scan this one as well. Who knows? They might find more to... Is that the water world already? Looks like it. Well, that's very blue. But again, knowing Frontier, there will most likely be something. They they usually for for these like bigger updates, or they like to to tease things. So they will often have kept something very very close that we probably don't know about yet that they're gonna reveal at some point, um, because they really like to tease stuff. Uh, so I think we're gonna see some like surprise announcement at some point. High metal content world, clearly with an atmosphere and rings around it. That's a beauty. Five more planets to go. Make that four. Oh, there's two in here. And two more to go. There it is. Okay. What do we have here? A beautiful little system. We have planet 9, which is a candidate for terraforming. And then we have planet 10. Oh, we have a terraformable water world here. Which has already been discovered, so this is not new. Let's go to planet 9 first. Let's map that thing out. Watch my exploration goals. First, while we're flying here, I have a destination system out here in the middle of nowhere. Because I want to go and have a look and then I'm going to head to Colonia and then I'm going to move in and then I'm planning to stay there for quite a while and not come back to the bubble for a substantial amount of time. There's Colonia. I'm really looking forward to, uh, to getting out there. Check success is in the middle of my route to my current destination or to Colonia. Um, lacks not 12. I'm using a Python. Mm -hmm. 
Is there a James Memorial equivalent? No. No, 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 no. Colonia is very sparse and a very limited number of modules when uh, available out there at all. So uh, that's part of the fun, being out there. Oh. This was the terraformable high metal content world. With a seven probe, so... Let's think about this, do this right this time. And then we're gonna put one... Uh, yeah, there. 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 Has Rash been found yet? Not to my knowledge. My jump range is around 45 light years. Where are we at? 87%. Well, that sucks. Oh, that rear probe completely missed. You see that? Okay, we're gonna lose the efficiency target, but that one should be pretty good. Nope, nope, it went too far as well. We managed to finish the scan, so we're okay. Oh, not that one. Let's go and get the... Why Python? Just curious. Because I wanted something with a lot of internals so I could carry some of the modules out there so I didn't have to pay for the shipping. And um, because I'm planning to uh, refit it once I get out there for mining. So I can begin uh, getting some cash flow. Do, do, do. Doing almost there. Okay, so while we are just heading towards the planet, if you guys like the stream, remember to go down and hit the like button below. Let other know that uh, that you're enjoying the stream. Um, and of course, if you're watching over on uh, on Twitch, you can go ahead and uh, and hit the follow button over there. Would be much appreciated. And if you're watching on YouTube. There's a subscribe button below as well. <laughs> um, I don't know reaction craft how long I'll be streaming. Um, so far, it's, I can keep going for a bit. I mean, it's Sunday tomorrow. I have nothing I need to do. Oh, should I move a little closer? I think I should. I think first discover is cross platform, though I am not. 100% sure.
this looks good. Come on. Are you kidding me? 89%? Let's see where that one goes. It's always those back ones that I'm not centering properly. Should do it. I was trying to hit halfway between the miss and the center line, like about there. But maybe I didn't do a good job. I'll do it better next time. That's okay. Okay. I think we're done in this system. So let's just move on to the next. I mean, I'm moving fairly slowly at the moment, so you should be able to catch up, uh, catch up with me. And I think I'm only like two thousand light years out. Hello, bright star. Eight buddies, quick look. Oh, what do I have here? Uh, rocky ice worlds. Nope. What's the purpose of mapping those planets? Um, it gives, gives me data, I guess. Can sell it for uh, yeah. Can sell it for reputation and money when I get to Colonia. Assuming my ship is still in one piece when I get there. The system only has a star, so... Nine bodies in here. Nope, nothing of interest. Okay. Ugh. Let's see if we're lucky and get something good this time. Nah. And yeah, there could be some high metal content worlds in there with 
terraformable atmospheres, but I don't want to sit and scan every single system. In the interest of keeping my speed up a little bit, then uh, I'm just gonna honk it and go. Yeah, that would be nice if you could view your discovered systems on the, while in space. Ooh, 53. That's a busy system. Oh, look at that, guys. I think we got an Earth-like. And this system? is mostly undiscovered oh we have several landable rings okay we're gonna take a pitch look at that we have two planets orbiting each other here where one of these are landables and it has rings that's gonna make for uh, for some pretty and also out here is that the earth like that looks like the earth like yeah but it has been discovered so i'm not the first to discover it but it's not been mapped so i'm gonna map it and see if i can get some mapping data out of that i'm just gonna get out of the uh, star's atmosphere and get a little bit of distance to it so uh, don't have stuff hiding behind it it is gonna take a while to uh, to scan this system There we go. Okay. Let's get scanning. Look at that ring though. Planet. Okay, well, I'm gonna make uh, my notes here. A lot of places in the system I want to visit. I'm um, just gonna write this down here. So, planet 12 has rings. That looks nice. What else is there out here? Ah, uh, this one is drifting. There it is. Oh, there's a yellow one there as well. Scan this one. Uh, do we have most of it now? I think so. Yeah, we do. Oh, lots of stuff going on here. That was the, the other planet I wanted to go to, planet 5. And have a look at that. Uh, something around this star here. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Look at all that stuff. Okay. Just begin for a minute. It's going to take a while to scan this. I mean, we have 50 something planets we need to go through. And then we need to map some of it as well. Oh, 
but there's still more. Oh, that's the earth like. Oh, I'm rings about around it as well. Love it. Oh, that must be a gas giant out here. Yep. What was that? in here oh there's two here oh that where's that oh that one and this one in here guess another gas giant no actually not there's something very heavy here what is that Okay, here we go. Oh, this is gonna take a while. Okay, that was the ice body so that means we pretty much just have the uh, the rocky worlds left that should make it easier to scan oh selling your data now we know how much you make uh, reaction craft Still thirteen left. Oh, there's probably a uh, a gas giant somewhere that I missed. Yeah, there it is. Does this gas giant has have 13 moons? No. Can't be. Ah, oh, this takes a long time. Okay, there's two more to go. One is there. And system scan completed. 
Look at that list of moons. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, okay, 12 moons. Just look at this system. What planet is that? That's the Earth-like. That's planet 9. Need to head to that as well. Okay, yeah, so I just quickly got to see if there's any terraformables here. Moons are unlikely. No, nothing is terraformable, but uh, I have a list of four places in this system I want to visit. I want to visit planet five, which is that one. We'll probably end there, I think. Um, then 11B, why 11B? One, two, three, four, oh, I have of course the names now. 11B, oh, that was just that uh, really, really yellow one I wanted to go and take a look at. Um, and number 12 so number 12 and 11 b looks like that was the one with the pretty ring that looks like it has really really pretty rings so those are pretty close to each other so let's do those first and then i want to visit number nine obviously um no i don't think ice bodies can be terraformable i just ran through everything just to make sure um, no, let's start by going and have a look at uh, at the rings around this planet. That should be pretty. <laughs> I haven't really made it that far, have we? Thanks a lot for the follow on Twitch and welcome. We made about just over 2000 light years. I still have 6000 to go. I'll have to speed up. <laughs> oh, 31 mil, that's not bad. Try to find a gas giant with a gas giant moon. Then there would be link. Then it would, in those cases, it would show up like this, where they're orbiting each other, like so. Look at the rings. Wow. Just look at that. It's almost like a barcode. Ha. I'm using a flying stick. Uh, yes, I'm using a hotess. Thank you. 
Is that mofo icy? I, maybe. So here's something a little odd. Oh, maybe it's getting interfered by these. Uh, no, hold on, that's, that's not it. It's this one. But it's the same situation. It's really weird. Those rings should be a lot more... The same. It's a metal rich ring. You see, these different bands, they are normally caused by the uh, by other moons orbiting, well, moons orbiting around the same planet. And then the uh, interference from those moons that will pull in the materials inside the ring will pull them into these different bands. But clearly this planet doesn't have any moons. So the only explanation is that it is the gravity from, um, from this planet and all these moons that are causing it. But as we can see, they are still pretty far away. So they would pretty much all be always pulling in the same direction. So they shouldn't be causing this. So this ring, blah, 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 this ring looks really, uh, really weird. You wouldn't expect it to look like that in real life. But it's actually quite funny. When when you have a ring system around a planet, when you get these different bands, if you imagine that you had just one moon, then all the material in the ring would be pulled into a band um, where the rocks in the ring would orbit with twice the uh, like uh, twice as fast so they would have not twice as fast that's, that's not correct they would have uh, half the orbit time as the moon so the moon would go around once and then the rocks inside the ring would go around twice at the same time so they kind of have an interference pattern um, but that planet didn't have any moons so I can't explain how that could ever have been actually created that makes little sense to me. Especially if this planet was closer, then we could argue that maybe it would have been part of that, but nah. And it's actually fun because you can then also use that reversed and you can then go and see, oh, if we have a planet like Saturn, we can look at the rings and based on the uh, on the bands in the ring, we can actually determine where <clears throat> what distance and size the moons must be. Aliens. <laughs> Look at this little thing. I'm just quickly gonna map it. Not that there's really any, uh, Hello, Lone Star. Done. Okay, we're not going to get a lot for it, but I just figured I would scan it because it looked nice. I don't think we can, probably can't land on it, right? It's the only non landable on this planet. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's head to number nine, I think. And number nine was the earth light, right? Yeah. Earth light with rings. Two rings, actually. Metal rich and another metal rich, two metal rich rings. Okay. Suitable for water based life. Why? Atmosphere is pretty good. Oxygen is a little. Oh, oh, oh no, never mind. Look at that atmosphere. That's not, that's not nice. No, not at all. Twenty six and a half percent argon. That's that's not gonna be a very pleasant place to be. 
But it also says suit available for water-based life. We are carbon-based, so it's not really... Orbital period is not too bad. Oh, it's a little cold. 260 Kelvin. It's like minus, what, 13, 14 degrees C. I found a green one, that could be fun. So yeah, even though it's an Earth-like, it's probably not suited for human life. <laughs> Look at this atmosphere. 100% sulfur dioxide. Well, that's not nice. Hmm. Yeah, it's a stinger. Okay, can we make it? Oh no, 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 no! I shouldn't do that when I'm out here. I'm so used to when I uh, when I'm flying close to the bubble to just try to see if, if I come in a little bit fast, if I can make it in the gap between the rings and the planet. But I'm so far out, and I gotta stay out here for a long time. I can't risk doing stupid stuff like that and end up destroying my ship or at least damaging it. Look at those rings, though. Okay, seven probes. See how that goes. We got it. Nice. Yeah, I'm out exploring in a Python. Not too bad at all. Just want to see which, which type of uh, hotspots we got. Paynite. Single Paynite hotspot. Okay, last planet was... Planet... Was this nine? Yeah, five. No, I actually joined the Python as a as an exploration ship. I mean, sure, it's not the longest jump range, and you can probably build if you build a dedicated exploration ship. You could probably build something that was better than what I have here. But it's a nice ship, and it's carrying a lot of the equipment I will need when I get to Colonia.
while well, we're flying there, because I believe this one, yeah, this one was landable. Do we know anything about the gravity yet? Okay, it's a 2G planet. That's a little on the high side. But I want to have a look at that star, because... A-class star, this close... And with another ring planet, if that ring planet is in a good position, that should make for some pretty, pretty, pretty uh, screenshots. What I'm hoping for here is um, if we can find a place and land on this planet where we can get the picture of the rings, that planet and the star are about just coming up of the horizon. That's what I'm looking for. So I want the star partly covered by the horizon. I want that planet somewhere in the sky and I want to be able to see the rings as well. So we should go all the way north, but we should go like halfway off the equator. Let's see what we get. We get there if we can find a good spot. Looks promising with that planet positioning so far. Maybe. I'm not so sure yet. Uh, is this one closer? No. No, it's further away. That's perfect. Yeah, we can check it, but it's, we're gonna, just gonna fly here. Okay, so there's a bit of a distance between the two. Um, problem is, if I want to have the star right at the horizon. Uh, okay, we're not gonna be able to get the star, so I think I'm just gonna go for... Um, Slow us down a little bit here. Okay, I'm gonna go and aim slightly high on the planet so we can get the ring coming up over the horizon as well as that thing being pretty close to the horizon. So we should be aiming. Hold on, let me see. I want to be on the day side as well, but not. You know what? We might actually, if we hit for the day night terminator here, we might actually be good. So I think I'm gonna aim slightly on the day side, but in this general area up here. I get the black, and I'm probably not down the crater. I should probably go on that ridge right in front of me now. That would probably be a good place to land. So let's get a good angle on that. And be careful because we are on a 2G world here, so we should be. Approaching this with caution. I got an AFMU, I don't think I have repair limpets. I can't remember if I put repair limpets on. Gonna go down pretty steep, and as soon as we go into a glide, I'm gonna go into a very shallow glide. So, I can tell you about how G Wilson rebuys. Okay, and then we're gonna pull up here in a sh fairly shallow. Fairly shallow glide here. Like, I mean, it's only 2G, so we can probably we could probably do this with a 15 degree down. I mean, 20 would probably be fine too, but let's just give ourselves a little bit of uh, of room to work with here. Got to make sure I have all pips to engines, and got to bring the ship to a stop. Start by killing our forward velocity here. There we go. Okay, 
and now we're just going to begin our descent nice and slow again don't go down too quickly right now i think when the, the trick with her high g wells is, is to keep an eye on that um on our downwards velocity indicator it's to the right of uh, of like the uh, altimeter it's like the one where we have one big bar and then we have two smaller yellow bars just below it that's our downwards velocity you can see if i begin to point down that goes uh, that goes down we go faster but i can still pull my nose up and reduce it that means that i'm still on i'm still in control of what i'm doing here um but if that thing begins to drop too much that means i need to pull up and i need to pull up quickly so as long as that is under control i mean i could do this a lot more aggressive without too much problems i think but uh let's just take it nice and uh, nice and easy here should we just get a quick preview of what this actually looks like you know what? we're gonna do that just gonna put get this thing to a standstill where is that other planet though did I mess up my positioning ring looks amazing from here though but I think I managed to mess up my positioning. Let me just check. What's the name of that planet? Yeah, I did. Look, it's below the horizon. Okay, so we need to move. We need to get up again. Just want to get that thing above the horizon too. And preferably a little bit closer to the rings as well. Let's get some more altitude here. Here it comes. And if I go further north, I think. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go north. I'm oh, sorry, south? Should I go south? Now this must, it can't be right. Oh, I'm on the southern hemisphere. Ah, that's why. Yes. I'm gonna go more south to try and bring that planet in closer to... Um, closer to the rings so we're gonna keep flying in this direction here I want to get a little bit higher above the horizon so I can get a good shot. I mean, this is already pretty good. If we take this on a wide angle. It's already pretty good. Look at that. Okay, let's uh, let's take this thing down. I think this is a good spot. It's so bright though. 
And let's try not to crash it this time. Coming into the glide area pretty soon. There we go. And again. Take it down nice and easy. And yeah, as uh, as Matthew put, said in the chat, the last 500 meters, that's where you begin to mess up. Nice and shallow here at the end, giving us plenty of time to slow this thing down. How about the slow descent? Still have it's not reacting that quickly, but we have some control still. That's good. Oh, don't go too fast. Slow us down, slow us down. Two kilometers up. It's painstaking. <laughs> Come on. Okay, here we go. Last 500 meters. Let's get this into a nice and begin to slow us down. Yes, I have my vertical thrust bound to an axis as well. But I don't want to give it uh, give it downwards thrust because if I do that, I'm gonna basically cut off my thrusters. I'll show you what happens here. If I just put this uh, to rest here, you can see here. Even though I'm sitting still, because of flight assist, my thrusters on the underside is actually firing. So if I gave this downwards thrust, they would turn off those thrusters and push the ship downwards, setting me into a very very fast. Uh, drop out of uh, <laughs> out of this so i don't want to do any downwards thrust right now um that's why i'm approaching it just basically coming down as an airplane instead and i'm gonna keep doing that until i am basically above the surface so we can load landing gear Slow down. Okay, so now the trigger is to find the spot to land. Here. I should actually go a little bit closer before I do that. And yes, I know I'm over cautious about this right now. suitable terrain
think this over here should look pretty good. There, oh, that was one. Pips to shield and now we can thrust down very gentle. There we go. I mean, I've spent about three hours, almost four hours now, gathering the data that I have. It would really suck to lose that. Thanks a lot for the subscription on YouTube. Okay. Look better with the SRV out of the picture. I think it would. I like that. That's a pretty good shot. I'm gonna save that. Come on. Save. Cool. Yeah, the scanner's pretty empty. There's some stuff around. I was about to say, wait, where is that? There's a larger object here. That's my ship. Uh, my Python could do about 45 light years per jump. And again, it's not really an exploration build. It's more just of a get my ass to Colonia build. I like to have the ship in uh, in in frame. So that's basically just a few rocks around this area, I guess. Yeah. Oh, having the sun behind the rings. Yeah, we can maybe do that on the way out. Um, see if that would work. But anyway, let's get into the ship again. Oops, just for now at least. If I could remember where I actually got in. Here it is. But I think I am going to uh, going to call it for today. I think this is a pretty good place to um, to take a small uh, a small break for now. Um, I'll probably be live streaming this a little bit more. I'll probably also be doing some of it off camera so I can shoot some um, um, so shoot some B rolls because it could be nice now that I am out here and, and there are some pretty planets that when I'm finding them I will choose some uh, some videos that I can use. Um, and I'll slowly be making my way towards the, uh, the destination, um, and I'll be sure to stream when I uh, when I'm about to uh, to get there. And of course, as usual, I don't really know when I'll be there. And this is something that you know, when I have some spare time, I'm gonna pick up this character and uh, and move him along. Um, but it's gonna be it for today. As uh, as Silver says, planning on doing uh, or streaming much longer or having an after party, I'll probably hang out on Discord for uh, um, for a little bit here after the stream. Um, Need to go and get a quick bio break but then i'll definitely hang out with discord so if you want to come uh, 
over and uh, and say hi and have a chat then there's a link in the uh, description below the stream it should be both on twitch and on uh, youtube um also remember to give the stream a like if you haven't done that already and just as um as stefan did right here you can subscribe over on youtube or you can follow the channel over on twitch if you prefer to watch there um yeah and i need to say a big thank you to all you guys who uh, make donations today that's very awesome and uh, very much appreciated as well um Final thing I think is uh, the merch store, if you guys are interested. Mugs, amongst other things, t-shirts, hoodies, sweaters, tote bags, that kind of thing. Um, on the merch store, you can go and you can find the link in the description as well. So yeah, thanks a lot for joining guys. I hope you enjoyed the stream. If you did, give a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in space.